Psalms 37. Psalms 37. We are reading verses 4, 5 and 6. Or even uh, 3. Let's begin from 3 to, 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 to 5. It says, Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and feed on his faithfulness. Delight yourself also in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. The the verse to highlight is 5 which says commit your way to the Lord trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass Amen Amina. Okay let us add one more verse and then start to break the bread Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 and 6 He says trust in the Lord with all your heart Trust in the Lord with all your heart the rest of us, what are we doing? Tui midirenga tu geno some ya wandikiwa. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Wesi genga mukama no mtima gogo na. And lean not on your own understanding. Sote wesi gamanga kukutegera kukwe. In all your ways acknowledge him. And he shall direct your paths. Father, breathe your life upon the scriptures that we have read. So that they become a life-giving spirit into our lives. To the glory and to the honor of your holy name. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen. And God's people say, Amen. Okay, just get seated because you are anxious to do so. But don't sit on your ears. Remember, we are committed to create a class every Sunday for believers. God has a reason why we should come to the house of God. We do not just want to come and leave that reason behind. One of the reasons why God wants us to sit down at his feet and listen to the word. First and foremost, he wants to equip us with the knowledge. We are living in the world which is confused. Right now you don't know who to ask the right thing. Most of the things that are happening, they seem already to have confused the people. I have heard a small interview on the radio, I think it was a BBC or Al Jazeera, I think it was a TV. Uh, but, but I was listening on a radio, on, a, on my phone radio. So they were asking one of the medical personnel that what, what should we do now? How, what is, how is the behavior of the Omicron uh, variant? Uh, does it go to the people vaccinated or people who are not vaccinated. And then the other man was saying it is too early to tell. Because it seems the vaccinated and unvaccinated are prone the same. I have no comment whatsoever and I do not pull anybody to what I think. I have decided and purposed to maintain my belief alone. 
But one thing I feel is fair to everybody is to hear the voice of the Lord because God is speaking about everything including the things you don't know. So one of the reasons why we come to the house of God is for the master of the house to speak to us. Don't take all your time in the house of God and go without a word for yourself. So as you are seated, don't sit on the ears. Are you there? Just wave to me and see whether you are there. I'm going to preach a very short sermon. I'm going to talk on the topic of committing your ways to the Lord. Now committing your way to the Lord simply means Bring all your ways And commit them to the Lord For his way because the ways of people help us to move forward to achieve what we want. Everybody who is here, at least you have one way or another of doing things. And the truth is people have many good ways. Some ways are superb. You, you know they can help you go to point B they can help you achieve what you want so we do not want to rule out the goodness of the ways of men some of the ways are so good the way of knowledge skills talents Talanta, gifts, birabo, education, kusoma, or hard working. All those ways are so good. Agogo nama kubo malunji. Very wonderful. But our discussion today is about bringing all those ways and they commit them to the Lord. Because if you leave them by themselves, there are so many unexpected things with them. First and foremost, there is no way definite, which is definite apart from the way of God. No matter how good they are, they are not perfect. But this requires knowledge from God because the people who do not know God they consider those days almost as their God because they put all their trust in those ways all their hopes in those ways in that if any of them disappoint them they desperately become disappointed I have seen people giving up on their lives simply because one of the things he trusted has disappointed them if you look around to the people who have committed suicide you will find the reasons behind something they trusted with all their hearts disappointed them somebody they loved so much ended up maybe breaking up with them people get so confused and frustrated if something that they had put in their trust disappointed them but you and me cannot face that danger. There is a remedy here. Yes, ways are good. Some of man's ways are very good. Some of men's ideas are very good. But our argument this morning is good as they are. 
Commit them to the Lord so that you get his way, his broad way. Because men's way can fail. They are not in, uh, perfect. Many ways are limited. They are bound to fluctuation and failure. But the way of God is so perfect. The way of the Lord is definite. The way of the Lord will take you to where you want to go. And it will be successful in any way. That's what he has said here. If you were to begin with the, uh, verse 5. He says, commit your way to the Lord. Trust also in him. And he shall bring it to pass. You see, the moment you commit it, to the Lord. It becomes his obligation. To bring it to pass. Yes you can get it by your talent. You could get it by your wisdom. By your education or by your salary. But we are not very sure. Whether it will not fail you on the way. Because it is not perfect. But if you bring it, you bring your education, you bring your skills, you bring your money, you bring your hard working to the Lord, it becomes something that will go by the Lord to the desired point. You are very sure it will get you there. This year and the coming year, you don't need to be disappointed anymore. Ways of men can disappoint. Our ways can disappoint. What you less expect. It can happen and you cease to be no, you, you become no more. I say if that one has happened, I'm hopeless now. What God is saying is this. Don't just drop your ways. But get hold of them. And entrust them with the Lord. And speak like this. Even though I'm educated and I even know what to do. I am not going to trust my education. Let me put all my trust in the Lord. Listen. Once you place your trust in in the Lord. Nothing can disappoint you. Because the Lord where you placed it does not make any mistake. The Lord does not make a mistake. The Lord is not so and is never late. But he comes on the point of time. Every time you place your ways in the Lord, wait for the perfect time in the right time. So when we say commit your ways to the Lord, it doesn't mean throw them away or forfeit them or live with them. There has been a mistake in the church which most of believers do. Before they came to Christ, they were so shrewd in many ways. They, 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 they had skills. They, they, they had gifts. They were so hardworking. They could plan and manipulate things. So when they came to the Lord, they left everything to chances. And they say, let God do it. 
I'm waiting for a miracle. I told you last time about a miracle. A miracle is, is there only when it is necessary. But it's not ordained that everything in life is going to be miracles. God has ordained in nature and he ordained in nature on principles. And many people that have appropriated the principles of nature, they have earned so big. One of the nature of the one of the principles of the nature. It is so and reap. It says whatever man is sowing. He reaps. That is a natural principle. Ordained of God. It will be so foolish to sit down and fold your hands. And you say, I'm not going to sow anything. I'm waiting for a miracle of harvest. I'm just here waiting for my miracle. In that land, out of that land, maize will come up that I did not plant. Now the farmer like Mama Tabu will ask you, did you, are you waiting for the maize that you saw? Did you saw that maize? Neda. No. Hallelujah, Mama Tabu. Hallelujah, Mama Tabu. I'm waiting for a miracle. Ladies and gentlemen, a miracle did not come to destroy a principle. Principles remain at work because God put them there. He speaks in Genesis 8 22. As the earth still exists, sowing and reaping shall not cease. You are not praying. Any prayer that will make a miracle when it is taking away the principle. Of God. What you have to do is, what? is to follow the principle. What I'm saying is this the one who has used to be a hard worker before you got and said, when you get there, be more hard working. The one who had gifts when you are not born again. When you get saved, to be you use those gifts in the Lord. And one who had skills before you got and saved. Once you get saved, use the skills and build the work of the Lord. Here in God, all the things that used to be you will gain so much more than how you gain from them. But the problem, when people get saved, they start becoming weaklings. Those with talents bury them. They start conversing. They are in the church where we were. In that church of Uganda. I used to sing even in the choir. Now when they got and said, I fear. I don't have time. Someone is bewitching you. This is how it works out. Because once you place it in the Lord, the Lord will increase it. And it even a crown of glory. But I would say like this. If there would be a hardworking person, a person who is diligent, who uses all his talents, who works without even getting tired, would be a Again. If we put on that mental and the talents that we have and the skills that we have and the gifts that we have and, we have, and bless them in the Lord and work in the Lord, the world will come and work with us. They will come and work with us. So as I preach this, I also call upon believers. Wake up with your talents. Wake up with your uh, gifts. And every skill that you have. But don't run without God. Be ready. 
bring them put them in a lock and run if it is speak in the Lord if it is to pray in God if it is to pray in God if it is to pray in God help in God whatever you do I want to be blessed in his way if it is to pray Hallelujah. Amen. He says, Trust in the Lord and lean not on your own understanding. Commit all your ways to the Lord and He will prosper you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what we have today is one. All our ways, all our belongings, let's place them into the Lord. A person asks you, where have you gone far? Tomugamba chicholaba. Don't tell him what to Tomugamba chicholo was. Don't tell him what to do. Tell him. 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 When I place my business in the Lord, it is going to grow big and grow far. Why? Because my God is the one that has it. My God is more than able. They can ask you, why do you have so many big dreams? Where are you going to get all that money? That question is too critical. If you are working or operating within your wisdom, when you are operating within your ways, when you are operating everything in your own ways, there are dreams that you will never fulfill. That there is a level that you will never reach. But once you are operating in the Lord, when all your ways are in God, no matter where you started from, but what I know in God, whatever begins in God, it is blessed to prosper and to overcome and to grow big and to increase. One thing, Everywhere you get, put it in the Lord. Amen. Even if you know how to drive, don't trust your skills in driving. What I've seen uh, a, a big mistake that we make. There are people who think if I know it, I don't need to ask God. Even if you know where Kampala, Kampala is, as you start the journey to go there, look as if you don't know. Because who knows you who knows there that that is your way? And your way can take you astray. The one who knows there and cannot go astray is God. Say, Oh Lord, I'm going to Kampala. I, I place my journey into your hands. I place my journey into your hands. It does need for you to fast, fast, and cast out demons. Just shortly, you are making your lifestyle. Because if you you are used to that, you can never fall in the traps of the enemy. The devil will always tell you, you know Kampala. You have a vehicle. You have a fuel. Just go. Don't waste the time. I was sharing with Inginia right this morning. And I saw a very big bandage on his finger. Mm. And I said, what's that? He said, this is amazing. Because we talked yesterday. And he said, immediately we had spoken with you. The next thing you were going to hear would either be death announcement or hospitalized. And I said, what happened? I said, it was a border border. 
Nagamba boda boda yangu ni. Kaka tibu ingini yewa yogera boda boda. If ingini ya talks about boda boda. Chiche chisoko kujamoto. What comes into your mind? Why did he go on a border border? Why did you go there in a border border? That's what you ask yourself. But let me tell you, the enemy can take you. As you come out of your home, doesn't tell you of the border. border, border. He does not tell you a drunkard person who drives on you. He doesn't tell you of the trailer that will come across you. He just tells you one thing so long as you know where you are. Just drive. Now, any any prayer, however small it might be, be. maybe the engineer made it, or Mrs. Ruinda, or Kanisa, or church, or the pastor, or me, Pastor, Akasala, that prayer in each one is the one that cancelled them, and the enemy just got that same way, the man of God was saved. Yes, yes, the Satan had plotted for him to die. How many people have you had dying on Boda Boda? Boda boda and tutte wala bicycle. Akagari of God. Kato miro muntu na fira wali no. Knocks a person and dies instantly. Kato kubama kafana nyo muntu atari na connection ina antangbra ya boda boda wa fa boda boda. Draw a picture now if a person is not moving on the boda boda but dying. Ela wa ngambi mogami ento yonge damani mbubaka bwange. If you told me that testimony, I told him you have. Kubango mbubaka bugamba. Because my message is. Trust in the Lord. Not in your car. Not in your money. Not in your wisdom. Not in your talents. Not in your efforts. But you trust in the Lord. If you trust in the Lord, you will get your way successful. Let's give God a might hand. That's what you need, you born again. Maybe you cannot see a difference. And most people, we, we are trapped in the no I read my books. I have to get a job. I rant. I have to get a job. You trust your education. And it comes your way. In other in the morning, I so so that I cannot repeat because but I went time. as far as talking about even women or ladies. You see, a lady, if she's well built, and the good to look at. She can think that alone will grant her marriage. But I have seen so many. Wonderful. Beautiful. No marriage. And some men brag that if you have money, you have everything. But I have seen men with a huge money. But no homes. They may have houses. But the house does not necessarily mean a home. That is to say, there is nothing that you can trust apart from God. If you have money that is good, but you put your trust in, in the Lord. In the Lord. That is what he says. Put your trust in the Lord. And lean not on your ways. Our ways can disappoint. Our ways are not uh, 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 limited. And if your way fails you, you see nothing else, you see no way out. But a man and a woman whose trust is in the Lord, when one way closes, he will look to God for another way. A man in the Lord, he knows very sure that God makes a way where seems to be no way. If you put your trust in the Lord, no matter where you are, no matter what hinders you, the Lord will call a way where there is no way. Because he is God who 
those things which are not as though they were. You cannot get stuck in one way if you were in the Lord because God himself he is the way. Where I don't see a way is God is the one. And it is there. Where you see things that are You see things that are These things are not working God out. God himself. Where you don't seem to see a way. God is the way. God is the way. God is the way. God is the way. Even if you still have so many ways, you remain confused. Looking here, look, trying there, trying there, you can't even concentrate to commit yourself to the way. But if you bring all of them to, to the Lord, you become concentrated and you become settled and you look to one point and you stick in that way and you stand in the same way that the same way even the way of the Lord will make it to happen will bring it to pass somebody say hallelujah that's what he says commit your way to the Lord and trust him you see the more you commit your ways to the Lord the more trust you build in God you can't trust anything you are not committed to I know people they are committed to doctors that when a doctor fails they also give up on their lives but if I'm committed to the Lord when the best doctor in town fails I will remain hanging on one thing that doctors can fail but Dr. Jesus doesn't fail. Hallelujah. Amen. That is what it is to commit your way to the Lord. It helps you build the trust. The reason some people don't have a trust for God. They still have many ways. They are using many ways to kill a rat. They will tell you there are so many ways of killing a rat. But the miracle you need is more than a rat. Unless you are talking of one of Mosenero. Because that one is 80 million per piece. Because Uganda is But you cannot compare your destiny to a rat method. Everyone who is here, your miracle is registered. And it is there waiting for you. When I look, I can see your name on it. Because God knows your address very well. He knows your size. He knows your, your feelings. He knows your choices. He knows what you want. You only need a, a wit to where it is. But what the devil does is to give, confuse you with ways. Try here. If that one has failed, you go to Abu Dhabi. If you have failed there, you just go abroad. If things have failed here, you do like this. Look for a prophet. Are you seeing those heads that you are carrying? At times, you fill them with junks. And the problem of Kasasronga Judem, they slow down the processor. You see, a designer of a computer designs according to the brains of a man. Sometimes if you want to know how you function, look or study your computer, your phone computer. Because that computer, if you feed it so much, it gets loaded 
Some of the modern phones will tell you they will bring out a signal and tell you, please, you need to clean the junk. Your, your phone is full. And they can even write down and say, as a result, your processor or the speed is going to slow down. We confusion. If we feel junks of confusion in our heads, we began thinking at a low pace. Let me tell you. Where you think that there is nothing. You might wonder, a person coming from where, wherever, to start something and it booms. Yet you are even better off than that person. Do you know that thinking is your capital? <laughs> There is a person I was talking to that in two years to come I'll be registering. He was just minded. How? Because I was seated in the chair and I was leaning. What I know is working hard. You can't get something if you have not worked hard. I told him working hard but it's not the only way. When I close my eyes here I told him when I close my eyes I'm working. Do you know what is happening when I close my eyes? I'm allowing myself to think. You, you, you see the reason why the white people the westerners are doing well they create time for every value even thinking they go for holidays to refresh when they tell us about those holidays we laugh and we say never so good it's because they have money uh, we say, but it's not money they know the value of refreshing sometimes the computer can get stuck and it demands refresh or, or rebooting Seeing what they don't have any spare that reboot. It tells you, I think, so that I can serve you. It is just a machine. That, that, is is that man who made that man now you man you are saying I have to die 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 but the owner who made this life stop growing out for the reasons just get out of the way bring them in the so that I can put them right hallelujah that's why he says cast you your burdens unto Jesus. Cast the junks, the worries, the fears, the burdens. You see, committing the way to the Lord does not mean that not uh, is not limited only to the good things that you know. But even when evil or bad things strike. Sicknesses and diseases. Challenges, poverty and debts. He says don't carry them. They are too heavy. They will slow down and crush the processor. Do you know why people commit suicide? They, they cease to think right. You see, nobody thinking normally can choose to kill himself. 
The moment you cease thinking right, which means the moment your processor crashes, you pick on anything, actually you choose to end there also. But if you commit to the Lord, the Bible says, He cares for you. He cares for the troubles. He cares for the deaths. He cares for the sicknesses. He cares for your worries. He cares for your fears. He cares. And once you know he cares, whoever asks you about that problem, just tell them the Lord cares. When they ask you about that date, tell them the Lord cares. When they ask you about the family, your family issues, because they, they know that you have been in a turmoil. This time when they ask you, tell them he he cares and once he takes care stop thinking on yourself stop carrying that one he cares shout and say he cares if they are asking you what are you going to do with your children because schools are all are, are soon opening and you don't seem to have money no job no nothing. Just shout and say he cares. Jesus cares. Jesus cares. Hallelujah. Jesus cares. Hallelujah. Amen. Omicron has come. Omicron. And we don't know the remedy yet. What are we going to do? Shout and say he cares. Shout loud and say he cares. He cares. Oh, where are you going to get the capital? For the two years when the economy was closed, you've lost all your capital. What are you going to stand again? Just shout and say, The Lord cares. You see, if you do that and you suspend your worries to God, you help your mind to think. Your mind to think. And Many Christians, no, many people in general don't think. They engage in talks, useless talks. But some of these people who are chatting things which are not beneficial and profitable. They, 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 are, they are denying you time to think. Are you listening to what I'm saying? have these phones. Everything is found on Abana those phones. Apps. Children are looking for apps every now and again. TikTok. TikTok. Like like Messenger, Messenger, Twitter, Neyo, Instagram, Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, WhatsApp. Now, if you are not careful, if TikTok does not take you, like he is waiting. And some people go through one after another. The only worry is your time to think will be robbed if you are not careful. But he is there to take care of our worries so that we have a space to think and think well. And we suspend all worries. 
When they ask you of something, you say he can. How are you going to do How it? it? How shall you make Do you reply and say, Afa the Lord cares. And the last thing no that I can do is more than able. It doesn't want no to no care. But also is more than able. Is more than able. Is more than Atena kusobola, sobola. No lecho mukwase migugu, mukwasa taranta, mukwasa ingerizo, mukwasa ibibio na kubanga sobola atafayo, kubanga afayo atasobola. Chinsu de mumpuli de, aha, ah ogud ogud ogusemba yo. May the good Lord bless you. Bow your head and I pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to seal up this word in the mind and in the hearts of your people. Who can care for the people as God? You are the only one that cares for your people. You know the ways we take. You know our troubles. Weaknesses and points of strength. You are the only one with the right solution. I ask you to help your people from today. To put their trust in God. No matter the case, no matter the challenge. Even the talents, gifts, and abilities. May none of those things substitute the, 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 the position and the place of God. But let them rather put them in one package and they put down at the feet of Jesus. And they put all their trust in Jesus. Because you know not you not only care, but you are also able. To do exceedingly abundantly above and beyond. What people can think or even imagine. To the glory, to the honor of your holy name. In the name of Jesus, I have prayed. And God's people say, Amen. 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 In a few seconds after giving our offerings before the announcement, you'll be taking those envelopes. The admin will come and give us a word uh, about the generator. Because we have strategized ourselves to have a generator before Christmas. And we're standing on it. Because so many of you have honored your pledges. The money that we are targeting 3M, you have already paid it. The news we are going to get is good. Even though it might not give us the generator in the time that we wanted. But we can get a generator that is better than the other one that we opted for. Before the passenger given our offerings, will come before Okay. Okay. Stand on your Put your tithe in your envelope. And get your offerings as well in one hand. Now, even those who don't have, let's stand up. Let us not be in ignorance and in lack. Great and mighty God, I receive the tithe from your people. Everything people do with the God. 
They are demire the hand of God into what they are doing. Some take the things lightly, but there are those who take it seriously. I pray that there will be a divine exchange here. They are poverty for your wealth. Their lack for your supply. Their inability for your ability. It's the reason they come to give what they have, to get what they don't have. I pray that whatever they give will become a living seed which will continue to talk and to work for them the, every step they take away from here to the glory to the honor of your holy name in the name of Jesus I pray Amen, Amen. as usual let us go around the way back is there come in one line and you go your turn. Okay, there, there.